Welcome to DHS Informatics. In this video, we are going to see multi-class Alzheimer disease deduction using deep learning technique. Earlier project Alzheimer deduction, they will say yes or no, whether this is a Alzheimer is present or not. Now we are going to see here more than two classes. We are going to see about the three classes, whether the Alzheimer is there or not. If it is present means what is its stage whether it is in first stage or second stage, like that we are going to detect. This project is a 2022, it is a latest project and uh, we can use the deep learning technique as well as we can able to use uh, any transfer learning technique you want also, we can able to apply in this project. I will first show the data set to you. Actually in this data set I already told you, there are uh, three varieties, one is a non-demented, non-demented means they are not having a Alzheimer and the second thing is a very mild demented it is a stage one we can able to tell that stage one and uh, third one is a mild demented it is a stage two so that we are having the stage zero stage one and stage two three things are there what is Alzheimer Alzheimer is uh, nothing but an it is uh, when we are become old the people will be lose their uh, memories that uh, memory loss problems are caused due to the Alzheimer only it is a very very need to we have to predict it in the beginning stage only if the Alzheimer is grown to the stage 1 to stage 2 3 4 means it will be a big problem so that we have to we have to identify in the level 1 only that is a very important concept um, I showed you the data set also to you now we are going to the coding part we developed the usefully all the this project is developed under uh, using Python machine learning concept. We developed the engine using the Jupyter notebook and then we are giving the front end using the flask. We are using the flask with the help of the flask we can able to do the front end design. Now you can able to see that here we are importing the libraries then we are uh, developed this project using the TensorFlow and we use the matplotlib for the plotting the graph and definitely we have to use the numpy and we are measure the accuracy of the model using the accuracy score classification report and confusion matrix we are reading the data from our data set there are three models are there we are reading the data and we are keeping as a 0 1 and 2 labeling the thing three varieties we are, we are having and each class we are having the mild demented we are having around 9000 sorry 900 images are there non demented we are having 1000 images are there more than 1000 and very mild demented it is approximately reaching to 1000 and uh, percentage wise you are looking all are equal more or less equal only 2 3 percent only va variation that also we showed in this pie, pie chart and it is a uh, one sample data set how the images will look like that then we have we developed the convolution in neural network and uh, it is a little bit a quite a tough task to developing convolution neural network to touch the good accuracy we built the model and uh, we trained the model here you are seeing that we are training the model we trained the model with the 20 epoch and finally we got the accuracy around uh, 89 point sorry 89.83% approximately 90% accuracy we got it okay and the loss also very less only then it is accuracy graph and the um, loss graph for the model it is accuracy graph this is a loss graph then we checked uh, our uh, model with the test data and it is giving almost 90 percent accuracy it is giving uh, in each model that mild demented we are given 188, uh, 188 image and uh, non demented 207 images and uh, very mild demented we given 185 images uh, among that we got 99 percent accuracy for the mild demented non demented 88 percent and the very mild demented we got 84 percent uh, overall accuracy is 90 percent it is a confusion matrix confusion matrix also look impressive and uh, we can apply if you want we can apply the transfer learning technique and improve the accuracy also it is possible we saved this model the model what we are storing here it will be used in the front end the front end is a flask framework 
Okay, this is a front end. In the front end, you can see that a multi class Alzheimer classification using deep learning. Here we have to add the one word multi class. Okay, we have the user registration form. We can able to register your name, last name, email address, whether you are male or female, city, country, you can able to register. Once you registered, you can able to go for your login page. I already registered one user. I am going with that ID. Once you entered, it is a home page. Here we can able to upload and we can able to verify behind this uh, model flask framework, the model what we generated in the Jupyter notebook that is attached. Now I am taking the things, okay. Here I will go with an validation images. I will go with a non-demented. I will give the non-demented one image and we are checking that. It is giving the, it is also telling it is a non-demented. Here, probability score it is telling the input image what is the chance for the given input image is a mild demented is 0% and it is for non-demented is 99.5% and very mild demented is a 0.445% so that which is huge 99.5 obvious so that we can say it is a non-demented we can test with the one more thing mild demented You see, you no, know, it is also giving a good accuracy, mild demented. And one more class, last one. Very mild demented. It is also coming very mild demented. So that we can able to uh, uh, understand that all the three types are detected very successfully here. And here we are having the CNN that what we got in the back end of the Jupyter notebook that graphs are shown here that accuracy plot loss graph i will everything will be there here and a result analysis you go means we are having a classification uh, report and the records of the data set details and the percentage wise data set we say result also there okay and one more data visualization we can able to see that the what are the sample data are there you can able to change the password here and we can able to log out okay now what i am trying to say you this uh, multi class alzheimer uh, alzheimer disease deduction is a latest project earlier they did with an only yes or no we can able to go with a more than one class and we developed using a convolution neural network for the enhancement purpose we can develop with uh, transfer learning like vgg16 19 or a dense net rest net like that we can able to develop this model and if based on your requirement we can able to develop and we can customize this model and give to you we are supporting you in the source code development and uh, transferring the knowledge and giving you the report work and the ppt and uh, help you in the paper publication also will help you so that feel free to contact us dhs informatics we are in uh, jayanagar bangalore and our contact numbers are 98451 and another number is 9889 Feel free to visit our website. Thanks for listening this video. Any queries, please call us.